I'm back! Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here or maybe you've been here this whole time, you need a reintroduction. My name is Allie or Wavy Curly Allie. I'm a healthier enthusiast just sharing my tips and tricks on how to help you love your hair as it is naturally. I know I feel like I keep apologizing and I haven't posted a YouTube video in quite a bit of time but I am still online. Just haven't been on as frequently as always life, kids, full-time job, all of those fun things. But I am back today because you've been asking for an updated wash day routine and up until the last couple months, honestly, not much has changed. However, I have done a few different things and experimented with a few different techniques. As you all know, I'm pretty tried and true with some of the products that I use. What can I say? I'm a creature of habit and frankly, I don't like to fix things that aren't broken. So you're gonna see some familiar products. I do have a new product that I've been using since my last video, but I've been using it for a long time that I am gonna introduce into my routine along with some of those new techniques. But we don't like long intros here, so let's get right into my wash day. These are my results for my wash day today, which I'm gonna show you step by step detailed into what products I'm using, how much I'm using it, when I'm using it, how I'm diffusing the different techniques, the temperature settings, all that fun stuff. So let's hop in the shower. Sorry, quick disclaimer, as always, you do not need to use the same products or the same amount of products or even the same amount of time that I used to style my hair. Just do what suits you. Find the techniques that work best for your lifestyle and go with it. All right, now let's get into it. Let's start with a cooler water setting today. As you can see, I'm gonna be doing this upside down and dressed instead of in swimwear as it's easier to film. I'm going in with a bit of shampoo. If you feel like your shampoo isn't saturating very well, go in with a little bit of water to help spread it around. And as you can see, it definitely suds up a lot better and I've been able to spread it around my scalp a little bit easier. I give my hair a nice good squeeze to get all the shampoo through my ends and then rinse it out. Now I'm gonna go in with this nice thick cream conditioner, work it into one big section. This makes it so much easier to detangle and then slowly break it up into smaller sections before eventually raking it in to help saturate your hair. Of course, you want to lift this up and away from your scalp. This will help with preventing your hair from sticking to your scalp. And then lastly, I go through with all my products and I brush them in. This helps with saturating all of the hair strands with product, not just for my conditioner, but also for my stylers. So you can see my hair is nice and coated and nice and slippery. Now, don't forget to do this, rinse off your brush. We're gonna be using this brush for our stylers and we don't want it covered in conditioner. That's exactly why I showed you this. Now go through and fully rinse all of this out. Your hair should feel like seaweed. Now you know this gem, this is my Bounce Curl Clump and Define Cream. I use this all the time. A little bit goes a long way as you can see. I'm going to rake this into my hair, again, up and away from my scalp once I get all of this into the lengths of my hair. One thing I forget to show you here is that I do brush this into my hair as well, but I kind of skipped that step. Now, this is where things get interesting, you guys. I use a wide tooth comb and a claw clip to section my hair. I never section my hair, but I started doing it recently and I've been enjoying the results. I only do two sections. I trace from the middle section of my ear up and around to create the top half and the bottom half. Now, this is where the new product comes in, the Lust Brands Irish Sea Moss Gel. I thought you'd have to pry Eco Slate Orange Marmalade Gel out of my hand to get me to try anything new. I'm so happy I did. So as you can see, the technique here is the same, raking it in up and away from your scalp. Now what I'm showing you here is that if you get wet frizz or stringy clumps when you're styling, you're going to end up with dry, frizzy, stringy clumps when they're finished. So make sure that you're smoothing down any of that wet frizz and forming those curl clumps while they're still really wet. So I do it when I'm applying my stylers. As you can see, there's this technique here, just brushing it in, giving it a little bit of a shake. But this is where the wide tooth comb comes in. If you want to create some smaller, more uniform curl clumps, then you can go in with the wide tooth comb to create a little bit more uniformity in the, the size. So I'm going to now go ahead and give my hair a good squish. And as you can see, I'm pulsing near the top by my root just to really get this product pressed into my hair. Now I'm not touching my scalp. I'm getting very close, but I'm not touching it. I don't want this product to settle into my scalp. Now let's work on the top half. I'm gonna drape this over my arm to make it a little bit easier and brush it. I will also show you how you can just hold the bottom section so that the top layer just hangs freely, but same technique here. I'm kind of brushing everything down, getting everything to where I'm able to reach it and make it easier to style. As you can see, that's what it looks like. Add another quarter size amount of gel. I used about a quarter size amount for the first section as well. Again, do what suits you for your hair, but I'm going to just kind of work this through the top, pressing it in, 
raking it in, brushing it in. So as you can see now, I'm just holding the bottom half and letting the top half hang. And again, going through with my wide tooth comb to help create any extra separation and uniformity in the clump size for my wavy hair. Now, my clumps in this section are generally pretty small to begin with, so I don't really need to do it here, but in case there's any sections that are sticking together that I'd like to separate, it's nice to give it a try. Now I've released all of my hair and I'm working it all as one, again, reaching up, pulsing, and pressing this product into my hair. As you can see, I'm going to rotate my hair from side to side, lifting some of my hair up and off of my scalp. Again, if you have issues with upside down styling where your hair sticks to your scalp and you end up with a really weird wonky section in the back, make sure you're doing these things. This is how I release my hair from my scalp. Now, doing it all the way back like this is not my favorite thing to do, but I'm showing it as an example if your hair always sticks, you have a hard time getting it to lift from your scalp. But the reason I don't like to do that is because look how stringy my clumps tend to get once I shake them that much. So a way to fix this easily is just dribble a little bit of water into the lengths of your hair. I'm not trying to soak my hair by any means, but reintroducing water into your hair makes your clumps come back together. And pro tip, this is why so many people love the bowl method. Now that we're finished in here, let's start the drying process. I start out by plopping my hair into a cotton plopping towel. This is by Lust Brands. Accordion your hair into the deepest section of the towel. Bring it up behind your head and then I secure everything by my forehead, begin to twist the towel and tuck it in the back to secure it. This is a really easy way with this type of towel to plop your hair as it is designed specifically for this. Let it sit for about 15 minutes while I put on makeup. In this case, I already had makeup on, so just leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now this next step is one that I would recommend you do not skip. If you want to speed up your drying time, this has been the biggest game changer in getting my hair to dry quickly, and it is micro plopping. So taking a cotton towel or a microfiber towel and squishing the excess water out of your hair, I'm trying to get it to damp before I apply my foam or a mousse. I love the X-Mondo Wave Tech foam. I've been using it forever. It's about six pumps. I just glaze and scrunch this over my hair. Why do I use this last? It's not usually recommended to use a foam or a mousse last. You always want to end on your hardest hold styler, but I I love it because it adds this kind of wetness that helps my clumps stay together and reform, especially if they've gotten a little bit stringy during the micro plopping process. So you see, I'm gonna really press this in my hair, but I am gonna go back through with some of the extra foam on my fingers and press them into my roots to help kind of create a little bit more lift and volume when it dries. Foam and mousse is really the only product that I recommend applying directly to your roots if you want that extra lift. Now go back in one more time Squeeze out any excess moisture that you might not want to help speed up the drying time. Showing you my towel so you can see how much water I took out. And now I'm gonna go through with a very quick hit of alcohol-free air spray. Just a very little bit amount helps speed up your drying time and helps with definition. This is my new Lifen diffuser. It is a Dyson dupe. It has multiple temperature settings, including an oscillating temperature setting where it will naturally rotate between cool to heat. Uh, just to help prevent any heat damage, but I'm going to start on hover diffusing on a medium heat setting or what is really their lower heat setting before their cool setting. So I'm going through, I'm lifting at the root. I'm just hovering over the root. I want to dry that first, and then I'm going to hover over the lengths. The reason I hover over my roots first is it is really good for your scalp health, but also it helps a ton with volume to get the extra water out of your roots that might be pulling your roots down. It might help to do this also if you're trying to get a little bit more texture at the root. Now I'm going to go through, and here's a couple of options. You can either pixie diffuse on the cool setting, which is recommended if you're going for a little bit of a more frizz-free defined look, but it will take a little bit more extra time. I'm going to show you how I go back through with the warmer medium heat setting and how I'm going to pixie diffuse by turning it on and off and hitting it with a cold shot of air. So here you go. You see I'm pointing at the orange circle. That's the medium heat setting. And then I'm going to finish it off on the cool setting. So a few seconds on the medium heat setting, go down to the cool setting, shut it off and bring it out of your hair. The reason that you're using the cool setting is to help set the shape the same way that you would if you were to use a curling iron and then put it in a roller and let the curl set. You wanna do this as well when you're diffusing. That cool shot is really gonna help set the curl. I'm just going through and I am pinching my hair to make sure it's 100% dry. 
And as always, going in with about three drops of oil, emulsifying it in my hands, smoothing it through my hair and scrunching to break any cast that might have formed on my hair. Now the Irish Sea Moss Gel doesn't really create much of a cast on my hair, but I still like to scrunch it out to help create any separation and fluff my roots out. Now, if you want to add a little bit more volume or you like to break your cast a little bit earlier than 100% dry, this is a really great way to go through with your diffuser and to scrunch and fluff. I don't recommend doing that if your hair is prone to frizz or you're still going through transition. It will create extra fizz by breaking your cast before it's 100% percent dry now this last step is always get your fingers into your roots give it a really good shape to help lift it off of your scalp and let it settle for a few minutes all right y'all and this is the results so as you can see some nice shine and bounce the diffusing time was really quick and i want you to see what my hair looks like not completely pushed in front of my face so this is it this is how i wear it i'm going to do a full 360 curl tour so you can see the back as always There you have it. That's my wash day. As always, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for another video, please drop them below. And as always, I'll continue bringing you all the videos that you love the most. And I promise I'll try not to take a year this time. All right, thanks guys.